Police fired tear gas at demonstrators in Caracas on Tuesday. The demonstration was organized by Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaidó. Guaidó attempted to negotiate with police who blocked demonstrators from marching to Venezuela's National Assembly building. Mobilizations, social action, symbolic acts of protest, overwhelming protest actions with everyone united today in the fight for a free Venezuela. This is Venezuela's moment. Thousands attended the demonstration in the Venezuelan capital to protest against worsening economic conditions in the country. Well, basically, we want the whole world to see what's happening in Venezuela, which is a very critical situation. Without production, without food, without medicines, a country totally paralyzed in all the country's economic sectors. At the United Nations in Geneva, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, said the situation in Venezuela has worsened in recent months. Since my last update on the human rights situation in Venezuela, political tensions and acts of violence by security forces and government supporters against opposition parliamentarians have continued. A separate rally was convened in downtown Caracas in support of Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro. The latest political tensions in the South American nation stem from a growing violence against members of Venezuela's political opposition, including the arrest of several parliament members. According to the latest updates from the UN, some 4.9 million people have fled Venezuela as a result of the crisis.